require from each of you is that you fill in the papers I've just given you with three little words. God is dead. Mr. Kane will insist faith isn't on trial here. But that is exactly what is on trial. What happened to Edward? We own him. We? <laughs> what made both of you busy schedules say yes to being a part of this Echoes of Creation? Michael and Stacy McIntyre. Uh, wonderful people, love their family, love them. You know, they're enthusiastic. They're real believers. And we'd also just relocated here uh, from Los Angeles to Dallas. The Lord put on our heart. It was after three decades out there, it was time to relocate. And Praise we were God. actually, <laughs> yes, we're actually uh, refugees at a certain level. And this is where we're to reestablish uh, film and television uh, for, for the U.S. To, to counterbalance some of the agenda-driven stuff that's going on out in Hollywood. That said, you guys are the brainchild behind God's Not Dead. Hey, to me, he's not dead. I don't want anyone to get talked out of believing in him just because the professor thinks they should. What is it you want to do now to, to influence and to, to create content? What, what, what are you guys doing? We want to reclaim the culture for Christ. We're actually not at a certain level filmmakers. We are culture warriors. Mm -hmm and we're looking to spread the gospel message. We're looking to do that through the medium of film and television, particularly the shift into television. It's where people spend so much of their time. But I also think it's important that your viewers know and we know and never forget, this is about what the Lord's will is because we, don't, we didn't wake up one day and say, oh, we're gonna go start a streaming platform because that would be impossible. And we're happy that it's impossible because we know there's nothing we can do. If he wants it, he's got to move forward, right? But the thing is that right now, I, we really believe that we're in a battle between good and evil. And it seems to us that entertainment is so powerful. We've always said this, if Peter or Paul or John or James or Andrew or any of the apostles we hear today, they wouldn't go door to door knocking on the door and saying, I'm going to preach you the gospel. They would make a TV show or a movie. So if we give an alternative for people to let their kids freely watch TV and give them an alternative and show them that good is not bad and bad is certainly not good, it's going to have a profound effect, just like God's Not Dead or Nefarious or Unplanned or any of the stuff we've done. So in terms of launching this platform, you spoke of some of the things you guys are popular for. What can we look forward to production-wise from the two of you? Uh, this year we intend to go in production not only on movies, but TV shows, reality shows, documentaries, especially kids stuff, A to Z, everything. What we're doing is just, I think it's an amazing thing the Lord is doing. At what point did you both realize you were successful in this industry? The day that God's Not Dead went out and we've heard that across the nation, a person would stand up, a pastor, anyone, and would say to the audience, is there anyone here who wants to come to Christ? And 150, 300, 400 people would stand up. We knew right then, ah, uh, Lord, we get it. What I want is for them to make their own choice. That's what God wants. You have no idea how much I'm gonna enjoy failing you. Yeah, but who are you really looking to fail? Me or God? Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our CBN Europe YouTube channel or click on the video on the right for more content. Click the link below to go to our website.